got this Durag kilt here. As you can see, she's in heat. She's ready to go. And here are a couple of things you're gonna need. The hog mate, in case you don't got a bore. You spray it about five, ten, five or ten minutes before, which we already did. The non-spermicidal lube, which we're gonna be adding to our foam catheters. And then our semen. So I'll show you that process next. Start a lube or catheter. As you can tell she's standing, you gotta make sure the vulva's clean. I'm gonna go ahead. Put a little lube everywhere. Just make sure not to get it where it's coming out. You're going to insert it at a 45 degree angle. So you feed it lock. Once you feed it lock, you're going to pull back a little bit. And if it goes back in the way it just did, look. Pull out. And if it pulls back in, you're locked into place. We're using dust storm here from uh, Schaefer's Gold Rush. Apply a little back pressure to make sure she's ready. You're gonna twist the top off, point it down so you don't spill any. Insert it. Give it a light squeeze just to get the juices going. And then just kind of put a little back pressure and simulate your sow like if there was a boar with your leg and she'll start to take this in. Take anywhere from five to 10 minutes, up to 30 minutes, just depends. It's a little muddy out here. We had some rain these last couple of days out here. Little air bubbles are coming up. She's slowly taking it. Putting a little back pressure on here. Just wait. She takes it. The very
very last bit once it gets a little bit more to the bottom I can add a little pressure to the bottom get it in there and then cap it off and then I'll leave it in there for about 10 minutes just the AR, AI rod you can see once you get here you can give it a little squeeze if you want try to squeeze it in there a little bit once you got that in there take it off cap it leave it in there for about 10 minutes there you go